natural. Woman, I want you to understand that the Lord created you perfectly. God created women with special features. God created women with unique features. He created women to be beautiful. And he enveloped every woman he created with the Shekinah glory of Almighty God. But so many women have lost the glory that the Lord has given unto them. The glory of God is the beauty God gave to every woman. The moment a woman begins to embrace artificial beauty, the moment a woman begins to alter her physical features and physical existence, she begins to lose the Shekinah glory the Lord has enveloped her with. Woman, I want you to understand that you are very beautiful. You are precious in the hands of Almighty God. The Lord created women carefully. The Lord created women fearfully. The Lord created women wonderfully. We have the, the, the works of his hands. We are beautifully and wonderfully made. The Lord created every woman to be beautiful. There is no spot. There is no flaw in you. Woman, I want you to understand this. That you don't need any artificial beauty. You don't need any artificial air. You don't need any artificial nails. You don't need makeups. You don't need jewelries. The Lord God Almighty created you perfectly. The Lord created you in his own way. He created you in his likeness. He created you to share the same resemblance with him. He created you for a pe peculiar purpose. He created you and he fashioned you. He created you so that he can dwell in you. He created you so that you can carry in. You can carry his presence wherever you go. Mary is an example for every woman out there. Mary maintained a natural physical existence and the spirit of the Lord overshadowed her and she gave birth to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If Mary had actually altered her physical appearance, her physical existence, her physical features, the glory of God wouldn't have overshadowed her. Because the Bible makes me to understand that our bodies is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in us. And we are not of our own. That is from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Woman, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You have an example that has been proven already. And that is the example of Mary, the mother of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mary maintained a natural existence, a natural features. The spirit of the Lord overshadowed her. She never altered a natural a natural features because she was created for a peculiar purpose praise the lord today i will make us understand the reason why you must be natural woman the first reason my number one point the number one point i want you to understand is that you have god's image you are God's image, woman. When you are God's image, you have been created in the likeness of Almighty God. You have been created to resemble God. You share the same resemblance with God. We all know that God is a spirit and God came into this earth in flesh. He came into this world in flesh and when he came, we, we saw that the he, 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 he was he was resembling even the disciples resembled him 
There was no way they could differentiate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that was why Judas Iscariot had to, to, to you know, show, identify him with a kiss. This implies that you share the same resemblance with God. The moment you begin to alter your physical, your natural physical existence, the moment you begin to alter your natural physical features, you no longer share the same resemblance with God. The moment you begin to use other things that God did not create with you, the moment you begin to decorate your face and alter your physical appearance, you no longer share the same resemblance with God. You must have this at the back of your mind that you you one of the reasons why you must be natural is because you are God's image and you want to share this you are God's image you are sharing the same resemblance with God for you to be in to to have the same resemblance with God you must not alter your physical appearance you must not embrace artificial beauty Another reason I want you to understand is that you are God's handiwork. Woman, remain natural because you are God's handiwork. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 makes us to understand that our natural existence is as a result of God's peculiar handiwork for purpose fulfillment. Woman, you are God's handiwork. You have been created in Jesus to do good works. God prepared you in advance for it. I'm reflecting on the example of Mary, the mother of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mary was prepared. Mary was created. Mary was created for the peculiar purpose of delivering the Savior, her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mary remembered and kept behind her mind that her body is the temple of the Holy Ghost and she prepared herself for it. The Spirit of the Lord overshadowed her and she conceived our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. The moment you begin to alter your physical appearance, you begin to alter the peculiarity the Lord has created you with. God created you in a peculiar way to fulfill a purpose. God created Mary in a peculiar way to fulfill a purpose. Mary did not alter her physical appearance. And she was able to fulfill that purpose of delivering the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. The moment you begin to alter your physical appearance, your physical existence, woman, you are at a greater chance. You are at a greater percentage. You are at a greater chance of losing or being deviated from the peculiar purpose the Lord has created you for. The fulfillment of that purpose is at a slim chance. Woman, you need to be natural. You need to maintain your natural physical appearance because you have been created for a peculiar purpose, for the fulfillment of a peculiar purpose. I would like you to take this illustration. I would like to use a cake to illustrate my point. <clears throat> assume that you are a, just assume that you are a caterer and you have actually been given an assignment you have actually received you have actually gotten a job to bake a cake according to a particular specification you were given a specification and you are to produce that cake in line with that specification you got home you produced the cake you did all the sugar craft according to that specification. Probably you are actually taking the cake for a national occasion. And, and you know for a national occasion, you have been given the color, you have been given the size, you have been given the shape. Probably on the cake, you are expected to put the map of that nation. 
probably on the cake you are expected to decorate that cake with a color the color that is peculiar to that nation you probably on the cake you are expected to you know decorate uh, the shape of the cake should either be maybe square rectangle robust triangle whichever one but you have a particular specification for that order on getting home you actually baked the cake you decorated the cake but before you took the cake for auditioning before you took the cake to deliver the cake to the client or before you took the cake to that national location somebody came another caterer another caterer that did not see your specification but just felt oh this cake will be much more beautiful if i had this decoration on the cake or if i had this color on the cake you have actually decorated your cake with white and green according to specification but here comes somebody another caterer who seems to know all and decorated the cake probably added some sugar craft in colors of red and blue and you know the this other caterer just decorated your cake with another sugar craft of red and blue unknowingly to you you carried the cake to the national occasion but when you arrived there the cake was rejected the cake was rejected because it did not match specification the cake cannot be used for that purpose because it did not match specification my sister this is the point i'm trying to make you understand when the lord was fashioning you in your mother's womb when the lord was creating you he had a purpose in mind there is a purpose for your creation and he fashioned you in line he fashioned you in a peculiar way in line with the purpose he wants you to fulfill the moment you begin to alter your natural physical existence the moment you begin to alter your natural physical features you no longer suit you no long you can no longer fulfill 100 percent the purpose for which you were created for so woman you have to be careful another reason i want you to understand another reason you must another reason for being natural is that you are perfectly created woman you are perfectly created god created you in a fearful way in a wonderful way psalm 139 verse 14 says we are we are fearfully and wonderfully made your creation is meant to appreciate god you are meant to appreciate god because you are fearfully and wonderfully made the moment you begin the moment you begin to use all these fake things the moment you begin to use attachment the moment you begin to use makeups the moment you begin to to use all 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 this mascara you are altering your physical features the moment you begin to do that you are not appreciating god you are actually telling god it didn't make you in a perfect way woman be natural because there is no flaw in you songs of solomon chapter 4 verse 7 says woman you are altogether beautiful there is no spot in you there is no flaw woman the way you are looking naturally is not a mistake god did not omit anything so you don't need to hard lipstick god did not omit anything so you don't need to put fake eyelashes god did not omit anything god did not make a mistake so you don't need to straighten your hair with relaxers woman be natural because there is no flaw in you woman be natural because there is no spot in you no wrinkle the lord god created you perfectly he created you beautifully 
If somebody is telling you you are ugly, my darling, go to the book of Sons of Solomon, verse 4, chapter 4, verse 7. You will see the Lord talking to you there. He said, you are all together. Put your name there. You are all together beautiful, my darling. What else do you want? The Lord is saying to you, my darling, you are all together beautiful. All together means from your head to your toe. You are beautiful. There is no flaw in you. You are not ugly. I didn't make a mistake while creating you. Woman, understand that there is no flaw in you. The Lord that created you, created you perfectly. I want you to understand that you must remain natural to have a healthy life. Woman, remain natural to have a healthy life. Most of the chemicals you are using, most of the products you are using to relax your hair, most of the powders, the makeups, they contain harmful chemicals. Chemicals that give cancer. You find so many women having breast cancer, stomach cancer, blood cancer, skin cancer. Most of the creams you are using to bleach your skin are cancerous. Most of these creams have dangerous chemicals that can damage the skin. Most of the things you are using to, to, treat, to, to treat your hair and to, uh, to, 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 to also relax your hair, they are actually damaging your scalp. And you are damaging the creation of the Almighty God. Woman, you need to be natural. Maintain your natural beauty in order to stay healthy. You are having a lot of toxins in your body because of those chemical, chemicals you are applying on your body every day. You are having toxins in your body because of all those makeups, all those foundation, all those mosaic, all those mascara, all those relaxers, all those activators, activators for jerichos, all those palming you are doing. All those creams that are bleaching you. You are accumulating toxins in your body. Those toxins are the end of the day. They end up giving you different sicknesses. You begin to, people begin to have cancer. Different sicknesses that are not curable. Woman, be natural for the sake of your health. Another point I want you to know. You must be natural because you are fashioned by God. You are fashioned by God. God is your creator. The moment you begin to alter your, 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 your creation, you are saying to God, God, I have wisdom more than you. I can create myself. Can a clay Say to he that fashioned it, what makest thou? Can a clay say to the potter, what are you making? You know you are a clay. God is the mortar. God is the potter, rather. God is the potter. You are a clay. Can you say to your potter, can you say to God, you have not created me well. I can create myself. Isaiah 45 verse 9 says, Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the pot shed strive with the pot sheds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, What makest thou? All thy works, he had no hands. Woman, you have been fashioned by God. And you have been fashioned in a perfect way. You do not need to recreate yourself. You do not need to recreate your hair. You do not need to recreate your face. You do not need to recreate your, your, your fingernails. You do not need to recreate your body. Maintain all the physical features the Lord has given unto you. 
maintain them naturally for his glory another point i want you to know is that you have the temple of god woman be natural because you are the temple of the almighty god first corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 says know ye not that ye are the temple of god and that the spirit of god dwells in you if any man defy the temple of god him shall god destroy for the temple of god is holy which temple ye have woman you are the temple of god first corinthians 6 verse 19 says what know ye not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you which ye have of god and ye are not your own woman know that beauty is vain but a woman that feareth the lord she shall be praised woman you are the temple of the almighty god do not allow any defilement to come into the temple of almighty god your hair on your body is part of the temple of the almighty god your hair should not be altered if God has given you black hair, don't tint your hair. Don't change the color of your hair. If God has given you a white hair, don't change the color of your hair to blue, to black, to gray. If God has given you a kinky hair, don't use ear relaxers on your hair. Don't use stretching combs on your hair. All of all these things are damaging the creation of the Almighty God. The hair relaxer you are using, the, the, the stretching comb you are using, you are altering the creation of God. You are altering the creation of God. And it can no longer suit the peculiarity for which it was created for. You are altering the creation of God. And therefore, you, you no longer share the same resemblance with God. Don't forget you have been created in the likeness and in the image of Almighty God. Woman, the use of relaxers, the use of stretching comb, the use of wigs, the use of ear extensions, ear attachments, the wearing of wigs, the wearing of attachments, the wearing of weaves on your hair is a sin before the Almighty God. You are altering the creation of God. The only thing you are expected to do to your hair is to wash it, oil it, comb it, and pack it. Woman, maintain that hair that the Lord has given to you naturally. He gave it to you for a particular purpose he gave it to you for peculiarity the moment you begin to alter your hair you are beginning to lose your identity woman the lord expects your face to be natural woman the lord expects you to be natural your face should be washed very well moisturized and then you come out the moment you begin to wear mascara the moment you begin to wear powder foundation you have actually altered your physical appearance the temple of the almighty god is your body because the, the your body is the temple of the almighty god the holy spirit envelops you the glory of the almighty god envelops you the beauty you have the glory of god is the is, is is what we enhance your natural beauty any woman that keeps herself in the lord any woman that keeps her natural beauty is enveloped by the shekinah glory of almighty god the moment you begin to embrace artificial beauty you are driving the holy spirit away from your temple the moment you begin to alter your physical 
existence, your physical features, your physical appearance. You are saying to God, you are no longer his temple. Listen to me. All these products that are being used for makeups, they are fashioned by the devil. They had deceptions of the devil. All these makeups, all these powders women are using out there. They have a covenant with the devil. They have a covenant with Jezebel. They have a covenant with the queen of the coast. Woman, the foundation you are using on your face implies that you are building a foundation for the devil you are building a foundation for the demon of lust you are building the foundation for the demon of seduction you are building the foundation for the spirit of jezebel to take over you and to walk through you when men look at your face when pastors look at your face they begin to lust after you no matter how spiritual you think you are, no matter how the Lord might be using you, you might be a pastor, you might be an evangelist, but if you are using makeups, if you are using all this compressed powder, loose powder, face contour, mosaic foundation on your face, you have actually invited the demon of lust, the demon of seduction, the demon of the, the spirit of Jezebel to sit right there in your face, in your eyes. And you are projecting lust. You are projecting seduction. You are projecting the spirit of Jezebel into anyone that beholds your face. Woman, don't forget you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. But the moment you begin to allow defilement in you, the Holy Spirit walks out from your temple and the devil takes over but the devil knows that he needs to have a foundation that is the foundation you are putting on your face that foundation you are putting on your face i am telling you the meaning of that foundation with the help of the holy spirit now get understanding of that foundation that foundation you are wearing on your face is actually building the foundation for the spirit of jezebel in you is actually building the foundation for demons for the spirit of lust for the spirit of seduction when men look at you they have sex in their hearts with you when men look at you, they commit adultery in their hearts. When men look at you, they see lies. When men look at you, the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel takes over them. When other women look at you, you are projecting the spirit of Jezebel into them. Via the use of that mascara, via the use of that foundation. Because you are the temple of the devil. Now, the, because you are now a building for demons to stay in and to reside in. You have to apply different brushes. Different brushes. It is painters that I know that use brushes to paint a house. But you, that you are human being, that you are supposed to be the temple of the almighty God. But now you are now the temple of the devil. And because the devil, each of all these powders have a demon controlling them. They have a demon that penetrates into you. And by the time you begin to apply with those brushes, the demons come into reside in you. Because you are the temple of the devil. You use the foundation to prepare, you use the foundation powder to prepare the foundation and the assets for different demons to come in and take over you. And by the time you begin to apply the, pow the loose powder, the mosaic, you are decorating, you are, deco you are decorating the, 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 the temple of the devil.
Yeah. You are decorating yourself as the temple of the devil. You are decorating yourself and you are giving yourself different marks, different colors. Each of those colors have their, have their, their meanings. My sister, that foundation, that powder you are using, that powder you are using is inviting demons to come and dwell in, in, in your body. And your body now becomes the temple of the devil. The devil takes over you and he uses you unknowingly. My sister, all those fake eyelashes you are using, the lip gloss, the lipstick, God has given you black color, black lips. Your lips are black. Your lips are not pink. But we see green on your lips. We see blue on your lips. You no longer share the same resemblance with God. That is what it means. I am here to give you a better understanding of what you are doing to yourself. You are no longer sharing the same resemblance with God. With those things you are doing, you, are, you have allowed the demons of lust, the demons of seduction, the spirit of Jezebel and that of the queen of the coast to take over you. And of course, they don't come alone. They bring in other demons. They bring in other demons. The demon of pride. They bring in other demons to take over you. My sister, as you are hearing this message, it is time for you to throw those things away. Be natural, woman. Woman, be natural. These fake things you are using is actually giving you identification with the devil. Is giving you identification with the devil. Don't forget that Ephesians chapter, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says, our existence is as a result of God's peculiar handiwork. The moment you begin to alter your physical features, you are beginning to have an identity that is peculiar to that of the devil. That is what it means. You are associating yourself with the devil. You are associating yourself with Jezebel. You are associating yourself with the queen of the coast. Woman, be natural. Let your fingernails be natural. Let your fingernails be natural. You don't need to paint your fingernails. The Lord that gave you fingernails gave them to you naturally. He did not paint them. You don't need to use cortex. You don't need to paint them green, blue, or in different colors. You don't need nail adna. Some women say their nails are soft. Then they use transparent cortex. You are only being deceived by the devil. You don't need nail adnas. You are altering the creation of God. You are destroying the temple of the Holy Ghost by doing that. The spirit of the Lord cannot reside in you. You are inviting demons that will be contending with the space of the Almighty God in your life. By the time you are using all these paints, woman, drop the use of artificial nails. Throw your cortex away. Throw your fingernails paints away. You don't need them. If you must take care of your nails, you only need to wash them. You only need your manicure as a God-fearing woman. We only be to wash your nails, to, to cut it with nail cutters, and to file it. You file it according to the shape of your finger. You file it according to the way the nails have grown naturally. You are not permitted to file it in any other way. You cut your nails short for the sake of your health. You are not permitted to keep your nails long. 
you are to cut your nails short. You are not supposed to wear artificial nails. Woman, your eyelashes, your eyebrow, you are not supposed to shape on it. You are not supposed to scrape it off. God has given you a perfect eyebrow. Cutting your eyebrow or, sh 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 or, 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 or shaving it off and drawing lines on it indicates that you are destroying. It implies that you are destroying the temple of, of God. You are destroying the temple of the Almighty God. Maintain your natural features the way the Lord has given it unto you. Maintain your natural features. Woman, be natural. God has given you a black skin. Don't bleach your skin. Don't use creams that will make you fair. Some women are not bleaching. But they come across some creams that are bleaching them in the market. On the cream, on, on, on the label of the cream is not written bleaching cream. So they don't know. But when they got home, they discovered it's bleaching them. My sister, how will you know that you are bleaching your skin? You will discover that some places on your fingers will be black. You will discover that you will be having sunburn on your cheeks. You will discover that your face will be fairer, but the, the, your leg will, will not be the same, the same color with your face. Woman, you bought a cream in the market and it's bleaching you. People are telling you. People are telling you, but you, you, you are arguing. You are destroying God's creation. Woman, be natural. Repent and return back to God. Woman, the Lord did not... Put any hole in your hair for any jewelry when, when, when you were created. If you know what it means to be natural, it means to maintain your physical and your natural existence from birth. When you were given birth to your hair, the hair which you came with, maintain it like that. Don't alter it. If you were given coily hair, maintain your coily hair like that. Woman, the Lord did not put hole in your nose. He did not put hole in your hair. Why are you putting hole in your hair? Why are you wearing jewelries? Why are you putting bracelets on your neck? Woman, be natural. The moment you begin to alter your physical existence, your physical appearance, your physical features, you are destroying the creation of the Almighty God. The moment you are using all these artificial things, the wigs, hair relaxers, makeups, lipsticks, mascaras, bracelets, earrings, foundation powder, lipstick, lip gloss, Bleaching creams, putting tattoos on your body, fake eyelashes, fake fingernails and toenails. The moment you are using all these things, you are giving yourself an identity. An identity different from the identity the Almighty God has given unto you. You are sharing resemblance with the devil. You no longer share resemblance with the image of the Almighty God. The moment you are embracing artificial beauty, it means you are telling God you are not perfectly created. The moment you are, you are embracing artificial beauty, you are beginning to spot yourself. The moment you are embracing artificial beauty, you are defiling the temple of the Holy Ghost. The Shekinah glory of the Almighty God will begin to fade off and depart from you. The moment you are doing all of all those things, you are resembling your mother, Jezebel. 
Jezebel is the first woman in the scriptures. When she heard that Jehu was around, she painted her face. She painted her face with mascara. She painted her face with foundation to, to, to reinforce the demons of seduction in her. She painted her face. She painted her lips. <laughs> she tied her hair and looked out of the window. The moment you embrace artificial beauty, you share identity with Jezebel. The spirit of Jezebel takes over you. You begin to work for the devil. Demons fill your spirit, soul, and body. Rather than the spirit of the almighty God enveloping and overshadowing you. Woman, it is time for you to repent. Get rid of all those things. Get rid of the makeups, get rid of the artificial beauty, get rid of the wigs, get rid of your ear relaxers, throw them away. I want you to know that it's not only throwing them away, but you break the covenant that is associated with them. Because when the devil makes you his temple, it, 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 it initiates you into a satanic into a, a, a satanic covenant when the devil when the devil takes over your temple when the devil takes over you by using the products by using all those artificial things he enters into a covenant with you he enters he makes you enter into a covenant with Jezebel he enters into a covenant with you and by the time you 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 desist from all the use of all these things you need to go for deliverance you need to go for deliverance and be delivered from the spirit that gained access into your life by using all those things you need to you you need to break every covenant you have signed with jezebel every covenant you have signed with the queen of the coast and with the devil himself woman be natural woman be natural be natural because god loves you god created you in a fearful in a wonderful way do not accept the lies from the devil. Be natural. Woman, be natural. And I pray for every woman out there under the sound of my voice that are under the, the, the deception of the devil. All the women out there that are under the, the, the bondage of the queen of the coast, the bondage of Jezebel. As you are hearing my voice, the Lord God Almighty will illuminate your mind. He will power your mind to understand this message in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will liberate you. The Lord will open your eyes to desist from the use of the properties of the queen of the coast in the name of Jesus Christ. Woman, get rid of all the properties of the queen of the coast in your house. Keep yourself and remain natural so that the glory of the Almighty God can envelop you and overshadow you. I pray that as you have heard this message, this message will not stand against you in the day of judgment. The Lord God Almighty will open your eyes and He will enable you, He will give you the grace to be natural. He will give you the grace to throw away the properties of the queen of the coast in jesus mighty name amen you with this message in proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 guard your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life woman as you are meditating on this word and you are meditating on the word of god guard your heart with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life. I pray as you meditate on the word of God. I pray as you meditate on this message. The Holy Spirit will illuminate your mind. He will teach you the right thing to do. The Holy Spirit will occupy your heart. 
and give you the grace to desist and to separate yourself from the use of all the properties of the queen of the coast or the properties of Jezebel in the name of Jesus. I am your sister in Christ. Olubumi Igbalayemi. Remain rapturable till I come your way again. Shalom.